Hi everyone. I have been asked by several people about how what I eat and how I control my uh, blood sugar. I have uh, uploaded several videos of uh, what I eat for breakfast, what I eat for lunch, and what sort of uh, and uh, this um, some dosha recipes, etc. But again, people keep asking me, "What do you eat to keep your blood sugars in check?" And I think they mean uh, a different thing, not a meal or a, what I eat ingredient wise. They want to know the basic method behind what I eat to keep my diabetes in check. As an, uh, I, I follow certain principles and these principles are what keep my diabetes in check. And these principles uh, are based on several scientific facts. The first one is about uh, how I, the first part of what I'm going to say is how I came to realize that diabetes is a reversible disease. I came to know that diabetes can be reversed when I uh, read about Dr. Roy Taylor. I have said this many times of Magnetic Resonance Center, Newcastle, who with his team had found that diabetes is reversible in persons who uh, who had appear who had undergone bariatric surgery as you know bariatric surgery is the surgery that is uh, generally used to cure obesity excessive uh, morbid obesity what they call and uh, this they tie the stomach and the intestine or the band uh, you they cut it and uh, make it smaller or they put a sleeve through it sleeve bariatric surgery there are several types of bariatric surgery uh, are the, is uh, is available for uh, patients and this surgery what it essentially does is it makes your stomach and your intestine smaller or it bypasses certain portions of your stomach or intestine so that the people who had undergone the surgery can eat only very little quantities later on and they certain hormones in their bodies with small intestine produces some hormones they are also suppressed and that way they keep off their uh, obese their weight they try to keep off their weight and uh, um, <coughs> sorry and uh, he found that uh, just before the bariatric surgery these people are put on a very low calorie diet so that the fat most of the fat inside their um, visceral cavity inside their st stomach area is melted and used up when you don't have anything you when you don't have enough food in your body about which you take day by day which is in if it is insufficient for your daily energy use then the body will use up the stored glycogen first and then it will use the fat it will melt the fat and the first fat to be melted was the visceral fat inside the stomach cavity and he found that as the fat melted uh, gradually the diabetes also got reversed <coughs> he found it through his magnetic imaging center he would do the magnetic imaging of the people and as the fat melted the diabetes went away that is what he found through the magnetic imaging if you look at uh, the website of newcastle resonance center and their diabetic reversal program you can see the pictures also of the fat in uh, in the X magnetic image uh, dark uh, image white blotches of fat and that getting reduced so it, it, he understood that and I also understood from his uh, rip published reports that melting the visceral fat is the key to reversing diabetes. And then uh, he f his method was reducing your food to such a level that you had to melt the fat and thereafter maintaining a very frugal diet. But how did anybody get to this state? Why did somebody, be, some people become obese? Why did some people get visceral fat? Whereas other people who follow the same lifestyle does not have any of these problems. And we thought till now that it was due to genetics. Our genes were such, if, if your family had people with diabetes, the likelihood of your having diabetes is very high. Secondly, it was found that it is your lifestyle. 
if a person has a tendency for diabetes and he follows a certain lifestyle his likelihood of becoming diabetic is even more and that lifestyle is it depends on your food habits what sort of food you eat how how you eat how in what frequency you eat and how much you eat all this comes in your food habits and then your lifestyle which means your exercise regime whether the do you exercise do you have a very active lifestyle um, it doesn't mean just cooking and uh, uh, household matters because cooking and household matters will only uh, require it will it will make you tired but it doesn't require uh, you to exercise all your muscles in the early uh, say 19th century or 20th century we used to do a lot of things manually and exercise our muscles now that is not there and when you don't exercise your muscles that doesn't mean that you are uh, having lots of excess that does mean that means that you don't have enough exercise so that let that be so that is lifestyle is one then uh, your stress levels then uh, your medications or medications you take then uh, your uh, the gut microbiome the there is a microbiome inside your gut also in your gut in there is a microbiome in all of the portions of your body there are very many bacteria and small creatures small micro organisms living on our skin or in our hair in our whole body as well and the most rich uh, inhabitation of such creatures such bacteria and the various types of bacteria is our gut and the gut microbiome Uh, their genetics their genes are much more than our in number they are 10 or 20 or 30 or 100 times the number of our genes and the our gene expression can be to a great extent influenced by the kind of bacteria that inhabit us in our bodies there are good bacteria and bad bacteria when the bad bacteria increase we can get even colorectal cancers so Uh, that is also one important cause of your becoming diabetic if you have a diabetic gene and if you have a lot of good bacteria that can control the gene expression then you may not become diabetic the another uh, uh, thing that may can be make you diabetic is the toxins that go into your body through breathing through food sorry through various other means and uh, through food uh, even by the use of plastics so you use disposable bottles for water carrying water keep the bottle in your uh, car or in your refrigerator the changes in temperature will be will aggravate the leaching out of certain chemicals into the water that you drink so you have to see that and eliminate whatever toxins you are aware of so all these are the ma- many many aspects which can cause you to have diabetes but there are some aspects you can control and some aspects you can modify and it is by modifying and controlling what we is within our capacity say you are living in an area where there is lots of atmospheric pollution you can wear a mask and you can um, go out for walks in fresh areas uh, take a car and go out keep your air purifiers in your house or do a lot of things but there is a limit to what you can do but there are other factors which you can really control and by doing all these modifications you can reverse diabetes and how do you reverse diabetes by melting your visceral fat the same way that uh, roy taylor did but in a different approach you don't reduce your food to a great level if you reduce your food to a great level uh, and you are a working person it may be difficult for you but by adopting a different diet you can reverse this condition uh, by ad- adopting a different uh, lifestyle as well as diet you can reverse this condition and by reversal you don't mean cure cure is you get better and you go back to your the state when you were uh, 15 or 16 and you could eat everything you cannot go back to that state you can reverse diabetes means you can drive back to a posh a position depending on the stage of diabetes you are in stage of this is all about type 2 diabetes in the stage where you are in and how much effort you are putting in you can go back to a certain extent but you have to maintain 
discipline in your life through exercise diet and lifestyle so stress is another important factor causing diabetes and stress control measures these are the things that we can use to control diabetes and how to change each one is what i am going to say in the coming video somewhere some will may take more than one video and some may be just uh, uh, short videos with links to other videos of other people which uh, give you directions of how to go about it so this is in response to people asking me how to reverse or how do you reverse how did you what did you do what do you eat in a day but what i eat in a day may not be uh, what you can eat in a day because i am living in a certain part of the country i am following a certain lifestyle certain food habits i am getting exposed to sunlight all through the year so all these things are different for different people but i can share the basic principles and how you can bring those principles into your life so that is what i am going to do so this is all for today thank you like and share if you find this useful have a nice day stay safe